All right, welcome back to another episode of Stitch Method on the Road. Uh, I'm currently in Silverton, Colorado. What a, just an amazing town. And uh, the journey that brought me here brought me through Mississippi, where I stayed at an alpaca farm right here, Arella Farms. A really cool place. You can pet the alpaca. And while, while we were there um, in Mississippi, I said, you know, I've never done the In the Mind of uh, Leslie West for Mississippi Queen. So here it is. And we're going to get started. Just to let you know, my dog Tonka is right over there. You're going to hear her snoring in her footprints. But besides that, we're going to get down to it. So the jam section of Mississippi Queen is a 12 bar blues in E. Yes, it's wrapped in distortion. It's got some really thick riffs, but nonetheless, a 12 bar blues in E. So what does Leslie West do? Well, to understand what, what Leslie does, we want to understand our options. So the options we have to cover an E blues really come down to two machines, an E major pentatonic or an E minor pentatonic. Now, the E major pentatonic is going to give it, um, you know, a light, airy kind of blues feel, and the E minor pentatonic is going to give it that, like, down-home, you know, bluesy feel. <laughs> and so, watch my blues primer playlist if you have any questions. Leslie West, uh, I'm going to spoil right now, he mixes and matches, but he also does something really cool that we're going to talk about right away. Let's approach this uh, um, back and track with an E major pentatonic, all right? But not just any E major pentatonic. We're going to use the one that I see on uh, Leslie West using the most, okay, which is this right here. Check this out. I'm going to show it to you. It's... And I'm, going to, I'm going to explain that, and I'm going to call this the Leslie box, or the Leslie West box, because I really um, haven't seen a lot of guitar players utilize it the way that he does. Uh, my main focus for this video is the 2013 jam where he did with uh, Peter Frampton. I watched a lot of videos of Mississippi Queen, but for some reason that one just like really got me. Anyway, you can see him do it in that video. All right, so this comes from the Form 4 E major pentatonic, and you find that by finding an E chord around the fourth fret, and that is our C shape, and that goes with the form four. Four seven, four seven, four six, four six, five seven, four seven. Leslie puts his first finger on the root note, and he plays this little box thing. Very, very reminiscent of the BB box, right? But it's a it's an E major pentatonic. So I'm just gonna stay right here and I'm gonna play a whole E major uh, pentatonic over the Mississippi Queen backing track. Is it gonna sound exactly like it? No, but we're gonna hear flavors of it and then we'll talk about how to add to it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so right there, you can hear like you know it, it works. Is it is it um you know Mississippi Queen just yet? No, right. And so let's just talk about some other things. Um, the other idea is the E minor pentatonic. Now I've seen Leslie do three different minor pentatonics, and we're going to discuss each one. Uh, the first one is taking his Leslie West box and moving it up three frets. Just very very simple, right? And now you have the eighth fret, and you have the same shape. <laughs> This is an E minor pentatonic. It comes from the form four uh, minor pentatonic, which comes from the A minor shape. Check out my, um, actually, check out this video right here. Uh, that's going to help out. It's my cage from my cage primer playlist. And the idea is here's an E minor, and here is the form four pentatonic for E minor: seven ten, seven ten, seven nine, seven nine, eight ten, seven ten. All right. And so he does the same thing. So now I'm going to solo with just minor, but before I do, he also uses two other minor pentatonic shapes that I've seen him use. Of course, the form one up here. He also uses this form two down here. Uh, if you're familiar with the Never Lost pentatonic, it should make sense. Two, five, two, four, three, five, three, five. I've seen him use all of this. So now I'm going to take a solo over this E Blues Mississippi Queen backing track, and it's going to sound, I mean, just rip roaring cool, right? Because it's an E minor pentatonic. So let's see how that works. <laughs>
everything's working, right? And again, I'm modeling this off of the later years. Definitely that 2013 jam. I really, really enjoyed it. All right, so uh, now we have both ingredients, and what does Leslie do? Well, I'm going to give you, uh, very much like my BB King Thrill is Gone video, I'm going to give you like the median kind of performance that I've seen him do, which is um, on the first three bars of the uh, Mississippi Queen, like 12 bar blues, he throws in the uh, E major pentatonic. Now, be forewarned, all right, that in his later years, he's going like this, like, then soloing, then another. And he's kind of putting the riff in there. There have been some performances where he's just ripping through it, and it's going to be up to you whether or not you want to play the solo through the entire thing, or if you want to play the chord part, and then the solo. Speaking of that, if you want to practice that stuff with me and get it really into your bones, you can check me out on Patreon. It's about how to play it by yourself without a backing track. But besides that, let's get started. I'm going to show you the three bars with the major pentatonic. The first three bars of that E blues have the major pentatonic. And I'm not going to do the riff. I'm just going to solo over the entire first three. Here we go. <laughs> There it was. That was the first three. Now the last bar of E for a total of four, he switches to the E minor pentatonic. And so I'm going to do that for you right now, and I'm just going to bring it up to that uh, Leslie West minor pentatonic so you can see the move. And you can hear how it creates a little bit of grit uh, as we move towards the four chords. So the first three E's are major, the last E is minor. <laughs> So there it was, the first portion of Mississippi Queen, the first four bars. First three are major pentatonic, last, last chord, excuse me, is minor. So now what does he do when they go to the A? When he goes to the A, he switches completely over to the minor pentatonic. And usually he's up here, my dog's snoring, he's usually up here in the form one. And he's ripping on it, alright? So I'm going to make it that far. It's going to be major for three, minor for one, and then major for, uh, sorry, then minor for the two A pieces. Here we go. We survived. Now it goes back to the E. All right. So, um, how do we handle that, or how does Leslie handle that? He switches back to the major for the uh, two E um, bars before we get to the B and A. So it's major, 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 minor, 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 and now major, major for the two E rounds. Okay. And I'm going to come back right here. He loves this little Leslie West box for his major piece. It's very true. Oh, I want to say you can practice it. You can play this an octave higher. You know. you want to, but when I see him play live, he's really down here. It's, it's totally up to you. All right, so uh, let's do it one more time. It's gonna, now I'm going to add minor, sorry, I'm going to add major when we go back to the E's. Here we go. Almost there. The B and the A, guess what? He just stays with the minor pentatonic. And uh, from watching several videos, he's down here on this minor pentatonic I showed you before. All right. And so I'm going to wrap it up right now. I'm going to show you, you know, the, you can see the, um, the uh, scales coming up on the screen. And this is just a guided tour through Leslie West's, you know, average performance. There, there are performances from the 70s uh, and 80s where he's, uh, 80s, yeah. uh, where he's just, you know, mixing and matching, and he might not be, you know, all together with it, but he's just having fun, and, and you can, of course, switch back and forth. I'm just showing you what I hear the most. You can play major where minor is supposed to be. It's totally up to you. Uh, but the last B and the A, I'm going to play that minor, and then it ends with an E. You hit the E, and then there's a break, and the drums keep going. And so let's see if we can get this whole thing together. <laughs>
that is the general kind of like footprint. Now it's up to you to bring some, you know, madness and holding things and screaming, maybe different distortions, but nonetheless, this is kind of the flight plan of uh, Leslie West's kind of like, you know, guitar solo. Now I'm going to take one more guitar solo, but I'm going to play the chords and you see him do this. And so you'll see what I mean. And so the spacing there is, is a little bit different. You're not soloing over the entire thing. So before I go, here's just one last performance. Here we go. sloppy but sloppy is good all right so uh, in the mind of Leslie West you know what to do again the practice sessions for patreon are going to have you kind of playing it by yourself I'll have a little guided tour that you can kind of play with and practice this so you understand how to mix and match not be afraid of uh, mixing and matching major and minor pentatonics in your blues a la Leslie West style thank you to Arella Farms in Mississippi uh, for the inspiration and uh, see you guys soon bye bye <laughs>